Oh, hello, fellow humans. It is I, Belly, here to help you reach your full potential, be successful, and travel the world. So today we are starting with my number one most requested video ever, which is questions and answers for Dari. Dari is where I studied abroad in Athens, Greece. So I'm going to jump in the questions and tell you guys everything you need to know about this place. What's super exciting about this video is every single question I'm asking, you guys ask me directly. You guys slid in my DMs on Instagram. If you guys haven't followed me yet, it's down below. Um, and ask me these questions, what I think is awesome. If you guys ever have any questions about my videos, feel free to reach out to me. I'm gonna start off with talking about Athens, Greece, the city, the country, the Greeks, the food, and the culture in general. If you're looking for a country to go that just has great values in general, this is it. They really do. They are so stress-free compared to Americans or at least Bostonians. They are so stress-free. Like they'll just sit down to have coffee for two hours. That's okay. That's okay. They're nurturing the friendships. You know what I mean? Here it's like quick, fast paced. So for you to immerse yourself in a culture that's like slow paced, that they value like things and experiences instead of just trying to rush everything, it is a breath of fresh air and it might be like a shock at first but that's because that's because you're not used to it and <laughs> but like this is this is the way to go this is why people that just have this lifestyle the mediterranean diet they just live longer now my overall thoughts on the city in school athens in itself doesn't have too many things to do like after you get over the touristy thing it kind of just becomes like any other city like if you've gone there as a tourist you've had a completely different experience than someone who has studied abroad and lives there because when you live there it's not it's like as a tourist you're just like okay i've seen everything like what's left you know but when you live there it's not boring like you have your friends you're gonna make friends you're, you're gonna live with like i don't know how many people you know what i mean like <laughs> it, it's different you're there with a the community you're there with the school there are places like you just talk to people and you know where to go so if you've gone there and you're debating living there just because you don't know if there's that many things to do just go just go <laughs> Now my overall thoughts on the school, the American College of Greece, the re, my overall thoughts on that. <sighs> I loved it. <laughs> I just loved it. Like these people actually, like they, they value human connection. It's insane. You gotta go. <laughs> Also, being in the school is sick because they have people from all over the world. It's not only like this is a Greek college, it's this is an international school. It's the American American College of Greece. So they have Americans there. They have like, I made friends from Egypt, from Ukraine, from Dubai, from like, where else? Being like, you're not only being exposed to Greek culture, you're being exposed to the world. Every time that I hung out with a friend and it was just me and them and I spent like the day with them, like just with them, I felt like I was in their world. Like and it, it's just like, it's something you don't even have, like I didn't even have the range to understand how different someone else can think like until this experience. I would say about every semester in college or every year in high school, I would have one teacher that actually cared and the rest would be like, Mm, I'm here to teach and get paid, you know, and them they are completely different like they teach you beyond the textbook Like they don't care if you've learned a textbook Well, at least the class that I took like not that they don't care But they're just like do you get it? Like do you understand how this is affecting everything else? Like it's not about memorizing. It's about learning. So If you're asking for a better education than that, I truly don't know <laughs> I was a business major, right? I graduated with a concentration in marketing, but um, when I went abroad, I took all electives I saved up, you should too. So I took photography, music, US history with a German professor in Greece. Let me tell you, it was an experience. <laughs> um, it was World War II. So um, the classes, the things that I learned, I would, for, for, just for you to get an understanding, in my notebook, I would not only write notes about the class, but I would write what the teacher said because sometimes they would come with, up with such profound things that I was like, I'm shook. Like I thought I was gonna learn photography from you and you're actually teaching me about life. Like these teachers teach you about life. It goes beyond the classroom, it's insane. I've I've never seen anything like it. It's so personal. If you're like that straight A student who wants to do everything, this, this, this and that, you're gonna have a hard time adapting. <laughs> because like I would go to class for an example and a teacher would be like write an essay. Every Greek student's like, word, we got it. Every American student, <gasps> 
how many pages do you want? Does it have to be double spaced? What type of font? What type of font size? Like, how do you want this presented? Three paragraph, five paragraphs? Like, can you give me a rubric? And they all looked at us like we had two heads. They're like, just write the essay. Like, just write it. If you're taking more concrete, like senior, junior level classes, it might be different. Next question is, did I make friends with the locals? And the answer is yes, but I actually didn't make that many friends from the school itself. Um, I made friends with my friend Ellie, she was my roommate, so I had five roommates, it was six of us in total, and only one was from Greece, the rest were all American, but all from different parts. And I so the all the Greeks in the school apparently are like rich. Like you go to class and you're just like, oh, you look good. I'm here in like sweats. But <laughs> the friends that I made really good friends with um, some locals that I actually met at the club. Shout out to Lohan, a great club. You guys should check it out. It's from Lindsay Lohan. But I made friends with my Greek friend who's actually was born in America, her name was Christina, and we were in line for the bathroom, and then I cut her, and she was like, listen, you cut me, and I was like, it's all good, girl, go, and then all of a sudden, we became best friends, <laughs> but if you can make a friend that's Greek, like, do it, because once, when you start, like, hanging out with their friends, hanging out with their family, that's when you join Greek life, that's when, and not that type of Greek life, <laughs> but that's when you join Greek life, and, like, you start getting to understand their world, and it's, it's such a beautiful world to understand. <laughs> Someone asked me about the business program as well. I did not take any business classes, so I can't give you much information on that. Is class hard? Mm, not really, but like, like I said, since things all come down to like the final exam, the midterm exam, like it, it's not scary, it's not stressful, it's not anything until you get to it and you're just like, oh my gosh, and you're trying to cram it all in. So it doesn't have to be hard, the assignments aren't very hard, it's more of like a you thing, but when it comes down to the test, obviously you're stressed out and you're freaking out and like you have to study for it. Also, don't freak out about the classes that you have. I changed my classes within the first week that I was there. So if there's anything you don't like in your schedule, don't think it's a, like an end-all be-all kind of thing. Now let's talk about the living situation. Single dorms, roommates, and all that. So like I said, I stayed in a dorm of six people. So two people had singles, me and Ellie. And then two rooms, there were two people. So six in total, four rooms. I actually filmed the tour of my apartment, so I'll put it right here. You guys can check it out. You can see how everything looks like in my apartment, which is so cool that I have that. If you're thinking of like living on campus or getting your own private apartment, live on campus. What are you doing? Why do you need a private apartment? Like, what is the need? Why would you not be in a building full of people who are having this insane experience with you? Like, so there are four main buildings. One, two, three, and four. I think it's like R1, R2, or three, or four. So number one, so the first building is the main building. This is where you go for orientation. This is where you go, like if you guys are going to excursions where everyone meets up, where the computers are. Then there's building two and three, which I highly suggest you guys live in because building one, there, since it's the main building, they have people there to check in. It's like, I'd rather not have a chaperone where I'm living. So building two and three is perfect. It's right across the street from building one and it's all just a 10 minute walk from campus. And then there's building four. Building four is not a building I would want to live in just because it's like 25 minutes a week walking from campus and they have guard there after a certain time, but it is more isolated. So I don't know if it was the people I knew, but I felt like there was a lot of things going on there, like in terms of party, because you're just thinking. Next up is orientation. So someone asked me like, is, do they have orientation? How's it like? Do they show around? Yes. When you get there, they're going to have like this event for everyone to hang out and eat and like this welcoming thing so you get to know people there also during the orientation they show you all the buildings they show you how to get the bus they show you where to get the bus where to do your groceries around the little plaza so so basically if you live in buildings one through three you're just gonna get out go straight down and then there's gonna be like a main street and that main street has like all these stores everything so they're going to show you around this plaza and answer any questions that you have don't worry about it they're so helpful this is just in their blood this is their culture so don't worry you are in good hands <laughs> all right now i'm going to answer just some general questions that you guys have had 
like what is my favorite store there obviously Bershka and Pull and Bear that is like the forever 21 of Europe and I am living for it I actually did a video over here and it was a try on haul from everything that I bought in Europe <sighs> honestly a part of me wants to go to Europe just so I can buy their clothes and redo my wardrobe because the style is unmatchable <laughs> You guys are gonna have a blast shopping there. Actually, that's one of the reasons why I ended up spending more than I should. Not more than I should, I was in my budget, but I didn't expect it to get there. It's because of shopping, and you know what? I don't regret it. <laughs> Which brings me to, is this easy to budget? I went there, I forgot if it was with four grand or with five grand, I think it was four grand. Um, and I used it all up. And the reason why I spent all that is because I had three solo trips and I had two trips in general, with, one with my mom, one with my dad. So like it was traveling things involved. It honestly it was just a lot of shopping. I cooked so, I've never cooked as much in my life as I did there. But um, if you do wanna eat, gyros are literally 240. I don't know if you know what a gyro is, but it's your future lunch and dinner for all of your days because it's cheap, it's so good. So if you ever don't wanna cook, it's right there. Now, if I hadn't traveled or shopped, budgeting would have been so easy. Like, I wouldn't have really wasted money with much except for food. Beers there are so cheap. Like two, three, actually there are beers for like 50 cents. Food for me, I didn't find expensive at all either. I found it pretty cheap. Um, but do remember, you are paying in euros and not dollars. Now, phone, SIM card, Wi-Fi, what's up with that? What are you gonna do? So, the whole time I was there, I honestly just used Wi-Fi. I actually tried getting a SIM card for my phone. So, you know how I mentioned there's like the main street? Like right off of it, about 20 minutes walking from your building, there is a store that they do all the SIM cards and they just like work with your phone. I went there and for some reason like the SIMs just weren't compatible with my phone and it wasn't working. Even though I had an iPhone and like everyone else had an iPhone, it worked. But mine, it didn't. So I just used that opportunity to chill out and appreciate where I was at instead of being on my phone all the time. But there are SIM cards in other ways if that's what you guys choose to do. Just remember that like SIM cards, depending on the one you get, it's only gonna work for Greece. So if you're traveling, make sure that it can actually work in other countries. Now, someone asked me about traveling. If you're thinking of going to the Greek islands, do it in September, do it early on. Literally get there, start going to the islands because it's gonna start getting cold in October and your, <laughs> your opportunity is gonna be over. You don't wanna go to an island when you can't even soak up the sun. As for other places, I would plan it out when I'm there. Like, don't get, don't plan out every detail. You don't know where it's gonna go. You don't know the people you're gonna meet, the travel plans you're gonna do there. But things there are cheap. Like, I went to Italy for $25 or 20 something dollars. But be careful, it's a fine line. I feel like I did it well enough, even though I did travel a lot. But just be careful to not travel so much that you're missing out the city that you're actually in. If you guys want to see a video about hostels and where I stayed and why traveling was affordable for me, I'll be putting up this video here that I made in Budapest when I went. Now, how did I feel about this trip? I know I'm throwing videos at you guys, but here I honestly, me and my friend Janeska, we go in just talking about our raw emotions and how we felt there. It's such a spiritual and like experience. I don't it, like you grow so much. You just don't even realize how much you haven't explored yourself until you go away and you're gonna notice it in the smallest things you're just gonna dress differently you're gonna act differently you never realize that society has molded you into this person that you have to be until you're out of it because you don't know you think this is just normal this is just how it is you don't it's, it's not even something you question if I'm being honest Greece for me was just a turning point in my life and as amazing as it was, I think this is just what comes with studying abroad in general. It doesn't matter if you go to Greece, it doesn't matter if you go to Italy, like as long as you are out of your comfort zone. And finally, a tip, um, one that I would give to you would be hang out with people as much as you can. Get to know other people, get out of your comfort zone. Go downtown, don't just go on campus. Make sure you travel, if you can, if you can have at least one solo travel while you're there, you'll literally be my hero because you need this. I don't know who you are. I don't know who, who's listening. You need this. 
I generally can't imagine you regretting the decision of studying abroad. So if you're watching this video, I'm so glad that you're even interested. I really, really hope that you do just because this phase in our lives is so crucial for us to even, for us to just understand who we are and traveling is a big part of that experience and finding out who that person is, who you wanna be. So I hope you guys like this video. If you guys have any questions, of course, feel free to leave it down in the comments below and I will answer them. Make sure to subscribe if you still haven't because I am posting Tuesdays and Fridays. So make sure to turn on that notification bell so you're alerted and follow my Instagram down below. I will see you guys on Friday. Bye, I hope you enjoyed it.